Hello, everyone. Good day. My name is Antoinette Sopahanoi from SPA, and I'll be discussing about my performance task number five in EC36. And in this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the 8x8 dot LED model with IC Max 7219. And at the end, you'll be able to see how the schooling effect of my full name will display on the 8x8 LED matrix works. Let's get started. So the task is to create a video demonstration of, of my own program that will display an animation on the 8x8 dot matrix display. And for the learning objective to demonstrate the 8x8 dot matrix LED display application using a microcontroller, which is the Arduino. And of course, for the requirement, I'll be showing you later the schooling effect of my full name, which will be direction from the right to left. And then um, we need to use the same thing as that, was, that I did use on two lab experiment procedures that I have before. And for the needed electronic components, I'll be using the microcontroller board, the breadboard, the power supply, or the battery, and the cars. And of course, the one piece by it bought me with max 7219 controller. And of course, just a quick overview. So the dot matrix LED 8x8 is an array of LED. You can display particular numbers, letters, and shapes on it. So dot matrices are indicated by the numbers of rows and columns. The most popular type of dot matrix is 8 by 8 type, which provides 64 LEDs in 8 rows and 8 columns. So the 64 LEDs are driven by 16 output pins of the IC. But the question now is how is that possible? Well, the maximum number of LEDs light up at the same time is actually 8, and the LEDs are arranged as 8 by 8 set of rows and columns. So the max 7219 activates each column for a very short period of time, and at the same time, it also drives each row. So by the rapidly reaching through the columns and rows, the human eye will only notice a continuous light. So this is the five input pins that will be connected to the Arduino. And this is the five, or these are the five output pins that will be connected to another eight by eight dot matrix LED display. Right here, I have here the circuit diagram. So this is how it looks like if I'm going to, going to connect the max or the eight by eight LED matrix Max 7219, the Arduino board. Of course, the VCC and the ground board, the five volts for the VCC and ground for ground, and then the other pins that will be connected to any digital pin, but I've chose the 10, 11, 12 for the data in, for the chip select, and for the clock. And for the microcontroller components, for the components I'm going to use is the Arduino, Uno board, the LED matrix, which has a max of 7219, the power supply, which is connected to the 5 volts connector, the going to the Arduino board and the connected bars. All right, that's it. So let me show you for the next part and how I was able to create the code and then we'll run the code later. Now, let me show to you how I created this code. And I'm going to run this code by the actual circuit that I have here later. Right. We have here. Of course, we may need to install first the LED control library that was provided by our instructor. And then we go ahead and put the initialize or IM data in for number 12, the chip select for 11, and the clock for number 10. And how I was able to create this one is that I'll, I did use the PIX matrix here. So, for example, we're going to write down um, this letter or this chest line, this line. And we are going to generate it. So once we are able to generate it, this is what it's going to look like. We copy paste this, for example, and then we go ahead and paste this into this part, and then so on and so forth. So for our video, I mean for our task, we are advised to use a full name for this one. So my name is Antoinette with the middle name Carpa and the last name Pahanoi. And of course, I just included such space just to at least give distance to the words of my name. And then this is how this is the delay. I'll just put in 0 0.2 seconds for all of them so that I can give you a scrolling effect for my full name. And yeah, that's it. And now let's go ahead and run this code. Now, let me show you on how I was able to connect the actual Arduino board to the Max 7219 8x8 
dot matrix LED that I have. So I have here, this is the 8 by 8 dot matrix LED. We have here the VCC that will be connected to 5 volts for the Arduino board, the ground, the data input, the cheap select, and the clock. So I have here on the code that the data input or data in will be connected to number 12, the chip select will be connected to number 11, and the clock will be connected to number 10. Now, let's go ahead and have this connected. First, we'll go start with this one. We need to have identified this is easier a little bit quickly. All right. Okay. Perfect. Now, so you can see this is how I was able to connect it to the connecting wires. And we need to have this connected to our Arduino board. So maybe we can start with the three pins. Because this, this is way easier maybe. For number 10, that will be the clock, which is color brown. Number 11 will be the cheap select, which is the color red. And the data in, which is color orange. Right? And we have here the green for the VCC will be connected to our 5 volts on the Arduino and the ground for the ground in our Arduino. All right, so this is how I was able to connect it. This is what you can see. All right, now let's go ahead and run our code. So in order for us to at least see the output later, we'll put this aside. We'll need to connect an cable for our power supply and our Arduino board. Let's, let me just put this in here. Okay. So maybe you already see the output after I did plug this into the computer because I already did try this earlier. All right. So let me push reset first. And then let me run and compile this one. So you can see compilation complete, and then you'll see the lights later if it's going to start again once I upload this code. So let me upload this. All right, that is perfect. So compilation complete, it started. Now you can see my full name spelled every letter. Let me finish this one first. We're almost there. All right, we're all done. And then we'll go back and forth once uh, we'll just skip it. Run itself. So see, I was able to show to you earlier how the um, circuit, the actual circuit that I have here being connected to the computer. Now we are advised to have it or stand it alone by using a battery of 5 volts and a connecting wire of 5 volts. So let's just unplug this one. And we're going to change our power supply. Let me remove the USB cable. Let me change our power supply to this battery. Let's just connect this one to our Arduino. And we'll run again for the complete name. All right, that's how it looks. Now you can see that my full name is keep running back and forth. C A R P A N from a last name which is Pahano. All right, All right we'll go back again with Anthonet. All right, so all right, that's it. Thumbs up for this video. And now let's go ahead and give you a quick summary of this video. I was able to demonstrate a program that will display an animation of 8x8 dot matrix. And I shown to you a scrolling effect that displays my full name, Antoinette Parpa Pahanoi. And I was able to discuss the use of the dot matrix LED display with Mac 7219 model application using microcontroller, which is Arduino board. And that's it for this video. I'm I would like to thank everyone for watching and we'll see you on my next video. Goodbye.